These mosaic designs for Tottenham Court Road tube station have been here since the early 1980s. They're by British artist Eduardo Parlozzi and they're now iconic. His distinct visual vocabulary references Soho jazz, fast food, and all the technology shops within spitting distance of the station. Paolozzi might just be the artist that Londoners see most of, but know least about. Paolozzi believed that art should be democratic. He liked the idea that you might stumble upon a sculpture on your way to work. He said people should be able to tramp through a creation. I'm going to take you on a little tour now of London to see some of his surprising public sculptures. They're all within a few minutes of a tube station, making them completely accessible. Eduardo Palozzi was born in Leith, Edinburgh in 1924 to Italian parents and eventually came to art school here in London in the 1940s. And it was in London that he made his international reputation. We're a stone's throw away from Pimlico tube station and we're confronted with this large cast iron sculpture. It perfectly represents Paolozzi's obsession with the relationship between man and technology. These are relief sculptures of the kind you might see on the side of a temple or in a museum, but here they're part of a ventilation shaft. So first and foremost, this structure is practical, but that really suits Paolozzi because he's able to take all of these robotic and sci-fi and technological imagery, mixing it in with butterflies and organic motifs, and make something which actually works as a whole. It's infrastructure and art perfectly blended together. Our next sculpture is surprisingly different to both the mosaics and the ventilation shaft. This sculpture is made to honour Irvin Piscator, who's a relatively obscure theatre director from Germany in the 20th century. But it doesn't look like him, it's completely abstract, and actually it's quite a hard sculpture to have a relationship with. It's here in the forecourt of Euston Station, everyone's rushing on their way to catch a train, the buses are whizzing past, and it's a strange looking thing, but I think that makes me like Paolozzi even more. He doesn't compromise on his artistic vision. Just a few minutes away next to St Pancras Station is the British Library, home to over 3,000 years of written civilization. In its impressive piazza, you'll see Paolozzi reinvent his work yet again. This time it's a figurative sculpture cast in bronze. Here, Paolozzi's reworked the famous image of Isaac Newton by William Blake, but in Paolozzi's hands, it's totally different. There's nothing spiritual about it. Look at him, he's half robot, half man. It's not like he's discovering the laws of the universe. It's like he's commanding the universe. I think what the sculptor has done is give us a modern hero. He's the god of science. Our final sculpture today is just a few minutes walk from the DLR stop, Royal Victoria. This is the Roman god Vulcan. We've seen that Paolozzi loved the idea of a modern mythology. And we have a very mythological setting here with this epic fog down in Greenwich. Vulcan was the Roman god of fire. He forged all the weapons for the gods and the heroes. In many ways, he's the archetypal sculptor. And here's Paolozzi almost presenting himself as Vulcan. It's a self-portrait. For me, it's a perfect expression of Paolozzi because it's a mashup. It's cubism and brutalism and a bit of sci-fi. And it's about a man who was obsessed with technology. I think it's a really good expression of him. Eduardo Palozzi died in 2005 and leaves behind a great legacy of public artwork here in London. To discover more about how he broke all conventions in art and how he created a modern language for a modern world, you must go and see the Whitechapel Gallery's exhibition spanning five decades of his work. If you're a National Art Pass holder, you'll get 50% off entry. Don't miss it.